friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how to set living and arrival times for driving directions in Apple Maps on your iPhone or iPad. Apple Maps received several notable improvements in iOS 15, including new details in cities, an interactive globe, and enhanced driving directions. It also gained a feature that has long been available in rival map apps, the ability to set living and arrival times for driving directions. This is a feature that's long been available for Google Maps and one that's really useful if you have a journey planned in the near future and you want to know how long it's going to take to get there or when you need to leave in order to arrive at a particular time. Until now, there was no way to get estimated travel times in advance of a trip using the Apple Maps app. In previous versions of iOS, leaving and arrival time input was limited to directions for public transportation, but Apple has thankfully now expanded the option to driving putting it on a more level playing field with Google Maps in the battle for users. That all being said, let's learn how to make use of the new living and arrival times on iPhone and iPad running iOS 15 and iPad OS 15 or later. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. To get going, launch Apple Maps app on your iPhone or iPad. After that, tap the search field and then enter your destination and tap search. Now tap the driving directions button, then tap leaving now. After that, using the leave app and arrive by tap select a time and date. In the end, make sure to tap on them to confirm the changes. It's worth pointing out that Apple Maps will show you several directions and how long it will take you to get to your destination based on predicted traffic for the time and date you selected. That's all there is to it. So that's the way you can set living and arrival times for driving directions in Apple Maps in iOS 15 and iPad OS 15 on your iPhone or iPad. If you have found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have an amazing time. Bye-bye.